Have you ever seen a truck like this one? Do you know what it's called? It has a crane on the back. It's used when a car has been in an accident or has broken down and can't be driven to the garage. By turning the handle on the crane, the garage man lowers some chains. He fixes the chains to the front of the car. Then he winds the handle on the crane the other way and the crane lifts the front wheels of the car off the ground. To hold the car steady, a tow bar is fixed in place. The flashing light warns other drivers that the breakdown truck is towing a car. With the help of the crane, it's easy to take the car to the garage. Cranes are used for lifting all sorts of heavy loads or moving things from place to place. For high buildings, very tall cranes are used. They're called tower cranes. At the top of the tower, there's a long arm called a boom. To balance its load, the arm of the crane has weights at the other end. This man is giving signals to tell the crane driver what to do. The driver sits in a cab high up on the crane. He can make the crane lift a load high in the air. Then he can put it carefully into place wherever it's needed. Some cranes are used for loading and unloading ships. They are called derrick cranes. The crane can turn any way it needs to. A special grab is lowered into the hold of the ship to pick up the cargo. High up in his cab, the crane driver can see everything clearly. This crane is lifting boxes of tomatoes out of the cargo ship and loading them onto a lorry. Cranes can lift very heavy weights. Imagine how many men it would take to lift this car. The crane lifts it easily, swings it gently into the hold of the ship.
cranes can also be used for digging holes. This is a drag line crane. The bucket drops onto the ground and is dragged along by chains and cables until it's full of soil. The driver can turn the crane and dump the soil wherever he wants it. The dragline crane has tracks like a tank and can move about like this mechanical digger. The tracks help the machine to grip the muddy ground and stop it sinking into the soil. The teeth on the bucket dig into the ground and scoop up the soil. The bucket is like a hand on the end of a long arm. The driver uses levers to make the machine do what he wants it to. What do you think this machine is doing? It's pulling up old trees from the riverbank. Mechanical diggers are very strong. They can do jobs that men find very hard work, and they do them quickly and easily. Look how the jaws of the bucket grab the tree. Some machines are able to do several different jobs. This one can scoop up earth and carry it to another place. It can also push the earth and make it level. This machine is perhaps the strongest of them all. It's a bulldozer. It has a big curved blade on the front of it which can push tons of earth. It's so strong that it's often used to push these huge earth moving machines when new motorways are being built. However did we do these jobs before machines like these were invented?